Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to add an end screen to your YouTube videos on your phone. So the only thing you'll need for this is your web browser and your phone, obviously. Before we get into this video, make sure you subscribe. We're trying to reach 100k, so I would really appreciate it. And it's only through you guys that I could do that. So make sure you subscribe and click on the bell notification button. I would really appreciate it. So this video kind of has two takes on it. So the first one is if you upload your videos through the YouTube app. And the second one is if you upload your videos through the YouTube studio website. So those two do determine which method you're gonna be using. So my first tip is if you upload your videos through the YouTube app, first make sure you private them before doing this. So upload your video, private it, and then do this thing and then publish your video. And if you're uploading it from the YouTube studio website, just follow this tutorial um you'll just have to do it in one step if you're uploading from the youtube app i recommend maybe looking into doing it this way it's just much easier and everything is in one place so let's get into the tutorial you're going to go to safari and then we're going to go to a website called studio.youtube.com it's like that and click on go so this is the website this is what it looks like now what i want to go into is uploading your video by clicking on create up here and then select upload video and then select files and then choose the video you want to upload now your video is going to start uploading obviously and you just have to like add your thumbnail add your tags all that stuff and we're going to add the end screen after it's done processing so as you can see it's uploading right now but once it's done processing we're going to actually add the end screen so this is the area you want to go to it's this area called video elements and you want to go to the area here that says add end screen click on add and then this pops up so i have this first option here import from latest video because i've already been using this but you just might have all of these so then you just choose one of these templates so i'm just going to go with the three here so you need to have a subscribe icon here one video and one playlist you can also select like two videos or something click here on the plus button on element and then you can add more elements whichever one you want to add but i'm just going to go with one video and one playlist this is what i usually use for my videos so the playlist i am um, you just have to click on this pencil icon here and then you choose which playlist you want to view so i'm just going to go with a tech videos one so then this is what it looks like and then for videos if you tap on it here um, you see you have three options here. So you have most recent upload, which is obviously the most recent upload on your channel is going to be showing. So whether this video is three years old or one year old, um, it's going to th show the most recent upload on your channel. Then you have best for viewer, which I guess is pretty much the best one to choose because then the viewer is more likely to view one of your videos because it's most suited for them. And the last option here is choose specific video. So then it lets you choose a specific video on your channel. Oops, I just clicked one. You just choose a specific video on your channel that you want to mention in your end screen. So then you just choose one and that's the video that will show up and that's pretty much it so once you've selected your layout you can also move these around by the way if you want them to be in a certain position um you're pretty limited with like layouts but you have a few you can choose from so um that's just how you do it just go here click save then so this is the main area where you add end screens if you're uploading directly from youtube studio website you just go to the video elements area and add your end screen but now i'm going to show you guys on a video that's already uploaded on my channel um how to add it then so i'm going to go to this area here which has all my videos tap on that so i'm just going to go to this video here again and then you want to click on the pencil icon here so it's going to take you to this page here, which just shows you all the details of your video. But you want to go to this area here at the side, which says end screen. Click on the pencil icon here. Now, obviously, you probably won't have this yet. So it's going to be the same process as I previously showed you guys. So you just choose your template, choose what video or playlist, or whatever you want to show, and then just save that. And then you can publish your video if it's not already published. So that's how you add an end screen. Just go to studio.youtube.com find the end screen area which depending on how you upload your videos and then just add the end screen really easy i hope it's helped you guys and you kind of understood it could follow if you did enjoy this video give it a thumbs up i would really appreciate it and definitely subscribe by clicking on the icon on the screen click on the playlist to see all of my other youtube tips and tricks videos so that's other tutorials like this 
and click on the video to see my previously uploaded video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!